are, are there ways to... So my programming is built from hundreds of habits that I've built over decades of programming. Are there ways to get across those habits, which ones you've chosen and why, without overwhelming the students with too much information? Can you give me an example of what kind of habit? Um, so, for example, when I do an opening parenthesis, I close it immediately. And oh, yeah. back up to make sure that I don't miss the closing parenthesis. Yeah. Um, so I think that's, that's a great practice. Um, I think that doing it, telling students why you're doing it, and then um, making sure that you're consistent in doing that thereafter will encourage the students to try to adopt your practice. I mean, one of the challenges of, of that one um, in particular, I think that is really interesting, is that you do that because you have a certain humility about your coding, right? You recognize, I make mistakes like this. I make mistakes like this all the time. I am going to adopt this particular practice to try to keep myself from making mistakes. Absolutely. That's really hard for students to get. It's really hard for students to get that, um, that you have to expect errors. Uh, I'm teaching a senior design right now, and, you know, they get it innately now. Yes, my code probably has some bugs in it, but they don't want to admit that they have bugs. They don't want to think about it as having bugs. They don't think about that process of, you must assume there's this number of bugs. Do enough testing so that you know that you've caught, that you've caught this number, because that number will still be less than the number that are actually there, but you'll get a good bit of them. Um, and this is uh, something that Ifat Kalikant wrote about in ICER uh, 2005, that students' notion of being right is way different than ours is. Um, she had this wonderful example of where the students were supposed to do some calculation and come up with some number. And the students struggled with this and had all kinds of print statements and printed out all kinds of stuff. And then what actually displayed, yes, the right number was in there. Well, it was, you know, in the middle of 75 lines. And the teacher said, you know, this isn't right. The student says, it is too. The answer's right there, see? And you have to explain, no, that's not right. What right is that you do exactly what I asked you to do. You have to meet the requirements. Um, and so what students seeing as being right, what students think as being debugged, um, is a very different sense than, than ours. And I think that it is a kind of um, practice of mind that is useful to teach students to have that humility to expect that your code is wrong and that you're going to have to fix it somehow. Or do things to avoid the, the errors as you're describing. 